Hello. This video is about duplicating a widget area in a Studio Press theme for WordPress. So this is what I've got now. It's um, it's a Word a Studio Press theme called Executive, I think. Can't remember what it's called. Yeah, it's called Executive. I've forgotten then. Um, and what we've got, we've got this is a widget area here, and I've put three um, featured page widgets inside it. And then there's another one and there's a third one now this is not in the original theme but this is what I want it to look like so what we've got at the moment is this so we've just got one two and then the footer so all we need to do is to duplicate one of these pieces of code paste it back into the same theme and um, change it change the, the ID description and name for the block of code we're going to use so what do we do well first of all I'll just show you a picture this is what I've got now with two widget areas there and I want three so let's go back to the beginning <laughs> before we start whenever you edit PHP you can break your website so please learn how to back up and restore your site using FTP before you start Sooner or later, when you're using FTP, sooner or later you are going to break your site and you can't use WordPress to fix it. So, where do we go next? This tutorial is specifically about a theme based on the Genesis framework. It's not just any um, WordPress theme, it's, it's specifically about a theme that's based on the Genesis framework. The code work, work won't work in other themes. So, the problem. I like the executive theme by StudioPress. But I need more featured pages to show on the home page. I want to divide the home page up with more, well, with I want another call to action block. There's little banners on the front page as well. So I'm going to change two widget areas. And this is what we've got. We've got this with two widget areas there, and I want it to have three. Right. What do we need to do? Copy and paste the code blocks that I want to reuse, then rename them. Um, so I can display more featured pages and banners in an extra two extra widget areas right so first we need to edit home PHP we need to find the widget areas I want to duplicate and their their home CTM is call to action and home middle so I need to copy these and paste them below the existing code so let's go into our theme right now in your theme, if you go to, well, in, in WordPress, you go to Appearance, Editor, and then we're going to, first of all, we're going to edit the home page. I'll just show you first what it is that we're changing. These here are, are what's called widget areas, and you can put things into a widget area. So this one here, I've got three of these um, featured page widget areas. In, in Genesis there are several widget areas that are made just for Genesis um, but it's just like any other widget area in any other WordPress theme but the one we're dealing with is specifically for Genesis and that's what we're dealing with we're dealing with widget areas in WordPress so where did we get to before I got started oh I know we want to go to appearance editor and first of all, we're going to deal with home PHP, which is a specific page template in this theme where you're in the executive theme. Right, so what we need to do, this code here, you need to find the right bit of code, whichever bit you want to e edit or duplicate. And what I want to do, this call to action, which is like a banner, I want, to, I want another one of those, and I want another one of these, there's home top, I think it's called, home top, and home middle which are widget areas home middle widget area so these two I want to copy and duplicate them so I'm, I'm duplicating home CTA which means home call to action and home middle which is um, a widget area so I'm going to copy them and paste them back where they came from right now I've got to change the names so we've got home CTA there and it's the same thing as again here so I'm going to call it CTA 2 shall we call it and then we've got to 
change the name of this Genesis widget area home middle call that bottom right so now I've, I've duplicated those two pieces of code and changed the names so we'll update right now I need to change something in functions PHP now so we've got to functions PHP go down to the bottom of the page right so here we've got the th this is where you register the widget areas in functions PHP so we just find the same bit of the bit of code that's relevant to the uh, to the, the um, widget areas we've already duplicated in home PHP we've got to do this in in functions PHP now so we're looking for home CTA which is home call to action and that, that other one home middle and we're going to copy and paste them again duplicate them so just copy and then we're going to paste them and now we need to change the names because otherwise PHP will get completely confused and it might have a little tizzy fit so that one call to action we're going to call call, call to action 2 that's the ID and have the call to action now we're just going to change this call to action to just so we know what we're doing and the description change that to call to action 2 as well so we don't get confused the important bit is the ID so this one as well this is the home middle and we're going to call that home bottom and we'll change this bit as well and this one So we had, we've duplicated two sidebars, or we, a, a, a widget area is really a sidebar, they're both the same thing. Um, and we duplicated home call to home CTA, which is call to action, and home middle. And we just changed the ID and we changed the name and description. The ID is the important one. So we'll save that. Right, so all we've done we've picked two sidebars duplicated the code and then changed the name of the ID and the name of the description but the ID was the bit was most important now if we go back to widgets what we'll see now we've added call to action 2 which is one we added and home bottom so if we look at our page now so far we've just got one two three four five six but I wanted nine there was some I want to put three more at the bottom so if we go to this home bottom there so we just added that one and I've made some widget areas I, I've already um, got these ready these are just um, I'll show you in a minute right all these are if you look at your widgets there's loads and loads of widgets you can choose whatever you want from this list of widgets that are available um, but in Genesis there's one called Ho uh, Genesis featured page and a Genesis featured page if you've got a, web a page on your website you can um, sort of put it into a widget area we're using this Genesis featured page widget um, so that's all I've done there and in this home call to action too I've got a text widget that I've already prepared just so you don't have to watch me typing it out um, it's just a few words there that I've put in the text widget so let's see what happens now so what we've got we've, we had one two three then we have this call to action banner four five six and then the footer but we've now added another call to action and some more um, widget areas well some more it's an, another widget area with some um, widgets inside them but that's that's all you need to do so let's go back to our little script so we found the widget areas I wanted to duplicate which were home CTA and home middle I copied the code and then pasted it and just edited the ID name and description uh, so we, we had this code to start with this was in home PHP and I copied it, pasted it so that then we had two blocks of code and, um, excuse me, 
<coughs> pardon me um, and then I just edited the name CTA1 instead of CTA and home bottom instead of home middle so what do we do then I, I didn't rename the CSS classes underneath here you've got um, div class which is the, the, the CSS that controls what it will look like but I don't want it to change the look so I'm leaving that the same I don't need to change that um, next we needed to change or to register the new sidebars in functions PHP so all we did there we just did the same we duplicated the relevant pieces of code uh, and we changed the IDs the names and the descriptions to suit our site and that's what we did there this was in uh, functions PHP we changed the ID and the name and the description and that's all you need to do we'll go back to the beginning again don't forget before you start editing PHP learn how to make sure you back everything up but learn how to restore things using FTP if you break something um, while you're editing PHP WordPress will just stop working completely and you can't use WordPress to fix it so please bear that in mind well thanks for watching I do hope you found that useful and bye for now